Um, question 10 is matrix. We are asked to evaluate this expression. We are given two matrices to add together and each one of them is going to be multiplied by a particular scalar. So these scalars, they are going to affect each element in this matrix. So the first matrix here, we ask to multiply it with half and the second matrix to be multiplied by three. Then later on add the matrix together. So this becomes half multiplied by eight is going to be eight over two negative. And this one is going to be six over two. And this one is two over two. And this one is 10 over two. Plus, we have another matrix, three times negative two, we have negative two multiplied by three. We have three times one, we have three times five, we have three times negative three. Half of negative eight is negative four, half of six is three, Half of two is one, half of 10 is five. We add it together with negative two times three is negative six. Three times five is 15. One times three is three. Negative three times positive three is negative nine. So we are now free to add the matrix together. This element is in row one, column one, and we have to add it with the element in row one, column one in the next matrix. So we have negative four plus negative six, one plus 15, Then we have three plus three. We have five plus negative nine. We simplify and obtain our answer. Negative four plus negative six is just like saying negative four, negative six, which is negative 10. So we have negative 10 here. 1 plus 15 is 16, we have 16 here. 3 plus 3 is 6. 5 plus minus 9 is the same thing as saying 5 minus 9, which is negative 4. And this is our final answer. And I think is the option E, the last option here. So now let us look on to question number 11.